Welcome back to another one, Pancho Things. Happy 4th of July, everybody. But I'm going to show you a couple of things. I got a couple of surprises for you. And one of the surprises is... I got a new camera. I got a Canon Rebel T7. Um, that's what I could afford at the moment. So we're going to try it out today. I'm going to cook some stuff. We're gonna see how this bad boy handles on video. I already kind of took a couple of pictures. I know kind of how it works. So let's get at it. Let's get at it. Fortunately, I don't know where my apron went, so I got my girl's apron. Pretty sure that it make the contour of my face look great. Okay, so enough yapping. What I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna, as I was cleaning my fridge, I uh, found from the last hunting season, I found some geese left over that I need to take care of as the hunting season is slowly approaching so that being said I'm gonna make a crazy burger where we're gonna have ground beef ground chorizo and goose so I need to grind the goose so I can mix everything up so we're gonna be using this bad boy this is gonna be my test for this grinder um, if it doesn't work, then I'm gonna go and get a, an actual real grinder, which I'm pretty sure this is gonna do the job just fine. But either way, I'm gonna end up having to get an, another grinder. I already defrosted the geese, I got it on a little bit of water. It's right there. So I gotta chop that up and then we're gonna. Grind it. I'm gonna stop the GoPro here. This is gonna help me also to check how the different um, the amount of megapixels are. we have 12 on the GoPro, we got 24 on the camera, so we're gonna see how that and I'm gonna take you to the process of grinding and the spices I'm gonna use. Let's just keep moving. Alrighty, so here we go. Let me just so we're gonna cut this into not super tiny, but into some manageable sizes. As I said, I have never used that grinder, so we're about to find out. So let's see. This is gonna be awesome to compare with the GoPro. How does this look? Super cool. Super pumped having the camera though. Because I can do a couple other things that I couldn't do with the with the GoPro. So let's see how creative we can get.
this is the final result of this. There we go. Crown goose. So now what I'm gonna do is just mix that and um, the chorizo, the ground beef, put the spices, let it sit for a while, and then pick the camera back when it's time to cook. We're also gonna be having some corn, we're gonna be having some broccoli, some other stuff. On the GoPro right now, um, I, I need to get used to how the focus work on the other camera. Um, it was kind of like all out of the play, out of place and all weird and just piece on my face. So I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna mix everything up and put some, some of the spices in there and just let it see for a while. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do now is that I got the ground goose, Got some chorizo and some ground beef. So I'm gonna mix, this is about eh, three quarters of a pound. So I'm gonna dump uh, a pound of ground beef. Pound of ground beef in there. And I'm gonna dump nine ounces of chorizo. So we'll see. Okay. So I'm gonna mix this first, um, see how much general quantity I'm gonna be getting, and then um, I need an adjustment if I need to. So I'm probably gonna add another half a pound of beef as I'm out of goose already. I'm probably good on the chorizo, so we're not gonna need more chorizo. I'm probably gonna put half of this in there. I can smell the chorizo in the, in the geese. So let's see. Let's go. Let's go. Another half. Okay, I'm gonna need some salt. Get some of salt in there. Fresh cracked pepper. I'm not gonna go too crazy, I'm gonna put some time. Touch of cumin. Right, so this is how it's looking so far. Chop a couple of garlic heads in here. all mix is gonna go now in the fridge until it's time for us to cook them so we're gonna do that this is gonna be there I'm thinking that it's gonna be there about three and a half hours or so and let those flavors just tie themselves in there on that on that, on that meat so I will show you guys when I'm ready to cook all of that
sausages. I'm gonna get some coleslaw in a minute. So what I'm gonna end up doing is just gonna take a bite of that and figure it out. What's gonna happen with it? Let me know how it is. I haven't tried mine yet. Oh, the burger? Yeah. I'm surprised you don't have any taste in it. I'm gonna hit my slaw and corn. <laughs> it's pretty good. Check. Alrighty. This is phenomenal. So you can taste the goods, the chorizo, ground beef. Mm -hmm. I wonder what was gonna happen to a full goose burger. You guys are well? I gotta get some geese and figure it out. Alrighty, so I'm gonna finish to eat all these burgers and have a great 4th of July. Happy 4th of July, Pancho out.